open these doors now! Pilot? Pilot? Pilot! Poor Pilot. So loyal, so dedicated, so underappreciated. I like you, Pilot. I like you a lot. Really? No, no, no. I think you showed it to him, so he owed you one. Well, yeah. Rigel doesn't count. See, Pilot is, if you'll pardon the pun, a sitting target for abuse. The British have a great term, dog's body, meaning a lackey or grunt who does the menial, boring jobs no one else wants to do. That's the role of a pilot on a Leviathan. You have no understanding of the covenant between Leviathan and Pilot. Yes. To understand Pilot, we need to understand that bond and covenant between a Pilot and a Leviathan. First, we need to remember that his name isn't Pilot. That's his job title. Every Leviathan has a Pilot. Well, except for Talon, but that's very different. So there must be many Pilots in the universe. We are told that Pilots have multitasking abilities far beyond other species, and have a highly sophisticated language but we learn nothing more about the species in the original series. We learn that Moya had another pilot before our pilot, and we meet the beleaguered pilot on the Leviathan taken over by Karvok, and we meet the pilot of Elak. But the original series gives us no information about who the pilots are. We are given no background information at all aside from the flashbacks in The Way We Weren't. That brilliant episode is worth watching in full, and I won't go into all of the drama that transpires in it, but suffice to say that Velarek took advantage of our young pilot. I can make that happen, young one. I offer you the chance to make your destiny. Look up. What do you see? Stars. That's what I offer you. Stars. I dream of nothing else. I offer you a Leviathan. All you have to do is agree to help me. Velarek doesn't tell Pilot until it is too late that Pilot has signed up for constant physical pain from an unnatural bonding to Moya. For three cycles, including over a cycle since Moya was freed from captivity, Pilot has been in constant pain. How that affected him we don't know, but we know how he ended it. Moya only accepted me because she was tortured into it. Tortured into it! <laughs> Moya is free of me. Pilot, what the hell have you done? No, 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 this is not good. No, no, not good. Of course, Pilot makes up with Aaron, and they reconnect Pilot with Moya. What everyone learns in The Way We Weren't is that Pilot is just as much an exile as the rest of them on Moya. This is confirmed in the comic books when fate brings Moya and inhabitants to Pilot's home planet. What happens there I won't reveal because you all should buy and read the comics. The realization about Pilot's past don't drastically alter his relationships with the others. They respect him more, but they still treat him like a servant. Nobody, nobody should talk to you like that. Nobody should tell you what to do. Yet, everybody does. In a way, that is what he is, even when he declares, But we cannot serve so many masters at once. We ask you to choose one spokesperson. Let me just pick a captain? Yes, a single voice for us to follow. No matter what, Pilot's primary thought is to serve others. We are most fulfilled when serving others. Your presence is gratifying and comforting. That thought of what fulfills Pilot and Moya resurfaces later. Moya is right. We are fulfilled. I have seen the stars. Traveling through the stars is Pilot's dream, 
and is the extent of the ambition within this wonderfully guileless being. Kahenu called leviathans gentle beasts, but I think that extends to pilots though Kahenu showed no respect for pilots. Pilots do not speak to Kahenu. A capricious deity. Pilots, at least when bonded to leviathans, are there only to fulfill a role. No doubt, our pilot's role is crucial throughout Farscape. As a pilot, he regulates Moya's vital functions, and he is the channel for communication between Moya and the others. He is never more vital than in the last episode of the original series. A wormhole is a disturbance in space-time. Immediately before it opens, a pressure bubble forms. You can't see it, but it's there. I can see it. You can see the bubble? Yes. Can't you? Pilot can do it, but he's scared. But he's convinced by the most unlikely of persons. Ah, <sighs> You should do it. Would you? No. But I'm not you. Pilot comes through and collapses the wormhole, saving Earth from the Scarens. And let's not forget that it was Pilot, with the help of his merry band of DRDs, who built the machine that Crichton used to build the wormhole weapon and make peace. On Moya there is a family, and it is also a team that works together and does big things, even Pilot, who really is a big thing and the most loyal of friends.